How much does your estate collect in property taxes per capita? Uh, Dateline 2016, a little bit old, but this is, might actually be a better topic than what I just shared with you about uh, the, the highest and lowest property taxes in various counties. And the reason for that is because per capita, per head, shows you that the average, uh, I'm sure, yeah, well, I guess it doesn't matter, it's the average. So if you, the, the every single person in your state pays this amount in property tax. I find that to be pretty interesting, actually. So again, from the Tax Foundation, let me, let's go back a little bit and see what the article says. Uh, this is 2009, but the, it's fiscal year 2016, fiscal year 2016. So let's read this. This is uh, pretty good. I actually, I like this quite a bit because if, you know, if you and your spouse, are just you two, Josh and Charlotte, is one thing compared to you and your spouse and your four kids. So we're going to talk about property taxes being an uh, important revenue source for state and local governments. On average, state and local governments collected $1,556 per capita in property taxes nationwide. Uh, collections vary widely from state to state. The highest state and local property tax per, per capita was in D.C., 3,500 in New Jersey, 3,000, New Hampshire, 3,100, Connecticut and uh, New York, all within 3,000, uh, 3,000, just FYI. Meanwhile, the lowest were in uh, Alabama, Oklahoma, Arkansas, New Mexico, and Kentucky. Alabama, 550, Oklahoma, 700, Arkansas, 712, New Mexico, 768, and Kentucky, 775. And uh, so that's pretty interesting to me. In fact, I noticed New Mexico showing up there. But again, Alabama is just in Kentucky are two of the most favorable states when it comes to taxes. Just really are. Um, well, Tennessee, Tennessee is going to be low. Yeah, look at that. Tennessee is eight thirty six. All right, so let's look at this. So, the state of Maine. Well, let's, I'll tell you. Let's see real quick. Yeah, it's a, uh, further property tax collection practices varies from state to state. It's important uh, sometimes within states, while some jurisdictions impose a range. A rate or millage on the fair market value. Others impose property taxes on some assessment of a ratio of the property value yielding assessed value. Okay, so hey, let's just look at the chart. So let's click on this guy right here. Um, and what we'll see is we have uh, Utah just jumped out at me first and foremost. So they have, oh, sweet, I can make it bigger. Yay. Uh, Utah had a $1,000 $1, per person. Uh, that might be uh, misleading because they have bigger families in Utah. Um, Washington is fourteen hundred per person, which again, I, I would my inclination is Washington has fewer children. Utah has more. Georgia, where I live, one thousand one hundred fifty nine. That's almost spot on for me, man. And we got six kids. I don't have my trusty calculator, but you know, I mean, we got four kids, so it's six of us all told, about fifteen hundred, uh, one thousand one hundred and fifty nine dollars. Yeah, that, that would be about right for me for sure. Um, obviously, that'd be different if you have a different amount of kids. Alabama is, you know, less than half of that for Georgia. Look at that. Mississippi's, you know, about you know, right around the same as Georgia, but that's interesting. Interesting how Mississippi's twice as high. Tennessee, right to the north, is uh, about twenty percent lower than the, the state of Georgia, um, but their sales tax is much higher, and yet our income tax is relatively the same for retirees. Florida is about the same as Georgia as well. South Carolina is about the same as Georgia. So these. Three states right here, Georgia, South Carolina, and uh, Florida, all have roughly the same. Alabama is by far and away much more favorable. Uh, Tennessee is, is pretty low. Kentucky is very low. Income tax and property tax in Kentucky is very low. Uh, Virginia is much higher than Georgia. That's about 30% higher. But if you take away northern Virginia, see, that's the thing. If you take away northern Virginia, Virginia is not very high at all. In fact, we lived in Rockham County, uh, which is incredibly cheap. Northern Virginia is because where the you know the, the the wealthy people are, their homes are. Uh, New Jersey, the whole state's expensive. PA, this part of the state's expensive. Going to the west, though, is not nearly as expensive as the east. West Virginia is pretty low, of course. New York, uh, New Maine's number ten. New Hampshire's number two. I bet Texas is number thirteen. Yeah, so there you go. I think that's interesting. I'll put a link in the show notes here, just to give you a gauge. So if you're thinking about moving to Idaho, or uh, Wyoming, for instance, uh, you know, Wyoming has no state uh, income and no sales tax, I think. So their property tax, where they're going to get you. Tennessee has no income tax and uh, a high state tax, but low property tax. They're going to get you someplace. But in Wyoming, they get you on property tax. So if it's you and your, and your better half, you're probably going to pay roughly $5,000 a year in property tax. Montana, you'll probably pay $3,000 a year in property tax if it's you and your better half. So... 
it's interesting when you think about it. Obviously, it depends on what county you live in. In Idaho, it's about a thousand bucks per person. If you and your better half about two thousand bucks. There's really no rhyme or reason. I mean, look at this. We got Nevada, California. Uh, you know, Nevada's cheap. California's not, but California is actually cheaper. Uh, well, not cheaper, but you know, well, let me look at it. California's right along the lines of Kansas. It's cheaper than uh, Nebraska, and it's cheaper than uh, Minnesota. Wisconsin's a nightmare. Well, Illinois has high property tax, has low income tax for retirees. So anyway, I, I, I could look at this stuff all day, all day long. I love it. Uh, but anyway, I've linked to the show notes uh, to this. And uh, definitely, and there's Delaware again. Delaware is probably, oh, there's, yeah, I forgot Hawaii. Hawaii and Delaware, when it comes to a certain amount of taxes, you can't beat it, man. Hawaii and Delaware, I'm telling you right now. So anyway, give it a shot. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you next time.